I'm going to show you how to get the Mac OS search bar thing in the middle. As most Windows users would know it as, all you need to do is first off, go to the first link in the description and you will see this page. Click Install Power Toys. Click Install Power Toys. And you will see this GitHub page. Once again, everything just goes to GitHub. All you need to do is scroll down and click Power Toys Setup. .exe. And once that bad boy installs, and you scooch a little bit on your chair and get a Java notification, press on it and open it up. And once it opens up, you'll see that it's downloading a whole bunch of different things that it needs, which are 100% required. And you will see a pop-up that tells you to press yes. And once you press yes, it will continue the installation all the way until the end. And once that little quick pre-install thing happens, just click next next and you can create a shortcut if you want on the desktop and you want it to automatically start power toys at logon this is uh something made by microsoft actually so you don't have to worry about it which is really nice so press next and press install something will pop up and you'll need to press yes and once you press yes you will see that the installation is now complete so click finish and now your computer has the Microsoft virus. No, I'm kidding. So you're gonna get this nice, beautiful window, and Power Tools is basically something that Microsoft made for a whole bunch of power users, and it's actually pretty nifty. You got like a color picker, you got fancy zones, file explorer add-ons, image resizer, keyboard manager, power toys run, which is what we're gonna use, power rename, and shortcut guide. I would highly suggest looking through all these because they are awesome. Like, actually really awesome and really helpful. But we are going to focus on the Power Toys Run. So click on that bad boy and mute your phone while your mom texts you. And press Launch Power Toys Run. And, and that that's literally it. You now have the little finder thing. But oh, it, it disappeared. So uh, you closed off the window and the Power Toys thing disappeared. You can't see the super cool finder thing. Well, the buttons... Well, the key button, the, key, the keyboard things you got to press are Alt and Space. And it will pop up with your search menu. Now, you could literally search anything. You could search stuff online. You could search stuff uh, on your computer. It's basically like going to the Windows Start thing and typing in search stuff, but it's presented so much nicer. So Alt Space, you get it popped up, and you could search up literally anything. I'm going to do Google, and you will see that I have a couple of things that pop up. But there's one specific thing you might want to look at. You might get a warning saying not all files are indexed. So click on it, and you will see this pop up. And all you need to do is just do enhanced. And what that will do is it'll index all your files, which basically means it looks for them, puts them in a nice little place so that whenever you need to look for them again, boom, they'll be right there for you. And that that's literally it. Like, that's that's it this is the whole video you now have the super cool mac thing where you can type in whatever you can open something in the browser you could search for files like i could search for um logo and you'll see tele tele telemetry log for office which is not exactly what i'm looking for also by the way i'm on a whole different user account but once you index all your files you should be able to see everything you can even see what's currently running on chrome exe which was the release of the power toys thing which is what's right here and that's it. Very quick and easy. And that's how you get the, the Mac Finder thing thing for Windows. Mwah.